Welcome to this informative video on the topic of Throw vs Blanket. Whether you're snuggling up on the couch or keeping warm in bed, blankets and throws are a great way to stay cozy and comfortable. But what's the difference between a throw and a blanket, and which one is best for you? In this video, we'll take a closer look at the key differences between throws and blankets and help you decide which one is right for you. So grab a seat and let's dive in. We can describe a throw as a small coverlet or blanket. Throws come in various materials, designs, and covers. They also come in various sizes, but they are usually smaller than blankets. The standard size of a throw is about 50 inches by 36 inches. The size and material of the throw are usually mentioned in its packaging. A blanket is a large and oblong piece of material used as a covering on a bed or elsewhere for warmth. We mainly use blankets on beds. This is why most blankets match the sizes of sheets. They come in twin and full queen or king sizes. In the world of blankets and throws, the distinction between each one is a bit confusing. On the one hand, they all provide warmth and can add to a room's decor. But there are a few key differences. Knowing the difference between a throw and a blanket helps you make smarter buying decisions. Get what's right for your home with this guide to blankets and throws. The main distinction between a blanket and a throw is the sizing. Blankets, such as fleece blankets, and other types of bedding typically use bed dimensions. In other words, they come in sizing that matches a twin, queen, or king mattress. Meanwhile, average throw blanket dimensions are a standard size of 50 inches by 36 inches. In essence, the size of the throw blanket means that it's suitable for one person to use, whereas more than one person can cuddle up under a typical blanket. You can also put a blanket on the bed to add extra warmth but a throw would not be suitable for bedding that's hosting more than one sleeper. However, throw blankets have their own essential functions. Although both throws and blankets are made to keep you warm, the material and design have a lot to do with how each item is categorized. Blankets tend to be made from one large piece of fabric. These fabrics are designed to keep you warm, like wool, flannels, or fleece. Sometimes these blankets have a sewn edge, like comforters, which are technically a type of blanket. Throws, on the other hand, also include knitted components too. They may be made out of luxury fabrics such as channel, faux fur, satin, or even crushed velvet. Lastly, throws often have a fringe element on the side such as tassels or extra fabric. The fringe adds texture to the overall feel of the blanket, making it more luxurious. The result is that many people love to curl up with throws in common areas such as living room couches or their favorite chair. They feel cozier than a typical blanket you'd find on your bed. Throws are used for decorative purposes and as a source of warmth. On the other hand, blankets are mainly used as a source of warmth. Throws are draped over couches, chairs, ottomans, armchairs, cribs, etc. Blankets are draped across the bed. Throws can be used throughout the house. Blankets are usually found in bedrooms. Blankets are used beneath the bed covering. Therefore, they may not be decorative or attractive as throws. Throws often have bright colors, beautiful and intricate patterns, and fringed edges. Throws and blankets are fabrics that provide warmth. Blankets are large pieces of fabric that provide warmth, while throws are smaller fabrics that are used as decorative elements. Therefore, the main difference between throw and blanket is their size and purpose. 